Well, hey there. How are you? I'm walking along the Genesee River near the South Wedge neighborhood of downtown Rochester, New York. Now, one year ago, I walked this exact same path and started talking to you guys about a little known spot hidden right on the edge of downtown. And I went and explored an abandoned subway tunnel. Rochester-based civil rights leaders. At the turn of the 20th century, the area along the Genesee River was actually a huge railway. Now, it's all under redevelopment construction. As we approach what was the entrance to get to the train tunnels, we suddenly find gates and signs telling us no trespassing. But we can still get a look from above as we come along South Avenue. We look down into the construction zone. We can still see the entrance to the tunnels. I'll give you a little peek. The big white building in the distance there is the main Rochester City Library. The red brick building in front of it is currently Dinosaur Barbecue good place to eat. What remained of the train bridge used to run right along that empty space. Give you a little bit of a comparison shot from one year ago to today. That video exploring the abandoned subway tunnel was literally like my third video on this channel. And obviously a lot's changed since then. Not just with the subway tunnel, but with the channel in general. I swear to you, if you're ever visiting Rochester or Syracuse, New York, you have to eat at Dinosaur Barbecue. This place is amazing. Now, the building it's housed in now was originally a train station during the beginning of the 20th century. first time I was down there, I was actually observing right out of that opening, walked all the way underneath the library to the next street bridge over. That took me all the way down to what used to be called the War Memorial. It's now the Blue Cross Arena. Now way off in the corner there is where my journey originally ended. I couldn't get any further down because of construction. Hopefully you can hear me okay. The water's a little loud off to my right. The wind's a little bit heavy in the downtown area today, so sorry for any audio issues. What I wanted to do for the one-year follow-up was actually point out another entrance to the abandoned subway tunnel that I didn't get to the first time. As I said, I walked all the way underneath that building, all the way to this bridge over here, made it about as far as the scaffolding. So we're gonna pop over there, right next to the War Memorial, I'm sorry, Blue Cross Arena. So we're gonna pop right over here next to the Blue Cross Arena, see if that entrance still exists, what it looks like today. All right, so this is an absolutely amazing piece of history right here, and yeah, the painting looks like they're staring at me with demon eyes, but that's okay. Sam Patch is another piece of Rochester history that I will bring you at some point. A daredevil and stuntman that would jump over waterfalls and though he successfully jumped Niagara Falls, he met his untimely end here in Rochester, jumping our high falls. That's a story for another day.
Okay, so yeah, those shipping containers right there were there a year ago. This is where I got turned away. Couldn't go any further down that tunnel there. Now, over the fall, my son Gideon, who you've met, is the yo-yo uh, guy, actually got to come down here on a guided tour. I had to miss that one for work, unfortunately. But he and I are cooking up a plan right now to get back down here and explore these tunnels, walk the route that he walked with the tour group, and see what we could find way down in there in the dark. And I can't wait until Gideon and I can take you down in those tunnels and see what's really going on in the dark. If you're new to the channel, thanks so much, and I hope that you'll subscribe and come along for more. If you know somebody that would find this video interesting, please give it a like and share this on your social media. That's going to do it for me as I exit the construction zone here along the Genesee River. I'm going to head back to work and finish out my day. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the road.